Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Start Select. I'm your token Northern host, Guy Cocker, and coming up on today's financially obsessed show... Yeah. Sony to invest $20 million in indie game development. EA to invest $50 million on convincing you to buy Battlefield 3. And we announce the best things to download to your video game box machine thingamidoos this week. Hello you. First up, good news for indie developers on the PlayStation 3. Sony has announced a three-year plan to channel $20 million into its pub fund program. A $20 million pub fund sounds like the most epic bar tab of all time, but sadly it's only a slightly less exciting prospect, a program to provide indie developers with design and marketing aid. But there's always a catch. The games must remain exclusive to the PlayStation Network. Now, the pub fund can already boast one success story, Burn Zombie Burn, which arrived to positive critical reception in 2009. Another recipient of Sony's dollars is the upcoming Okaboo from London developer Hand Circus, which Mark previewed on last week's Super Start Select. So if you want to see more of that, go check it out. While $20 million sounds like a lot of money, it's mere pocket change for the Japanese giant compared to the $173 million it's estimated to lose this financial year on the PlayStation Network intrusion. Still, you lot seem to be happy with the news, with user IceJester45 commenting, Good. PlayStation Network needs it. Xbox Live Arcade has been cleaning PlayStation Network's clock for years on the exclusives front. I hope this will bring a bit of balance. Calm down, dear. If the likes of Journey and our best downloadable game of E3 winner Papo and Yo are anything to go by, PlayStation owners have got nothing to worry about. Next up, Battlefield 3. Now, the game's coming out in October, but publisher EA reckons you might not actually realise this yet. Get up on the wall! It's reportedly preparing a $50 million marketing spend for its self-proclaimed Modern Warfare 3 killer if video game analyst extraordinaire Michael Pachter is to be believed. While $50 million is a lot of money, EA CEO John Riccatello has previously said that he estimates $200 million will be spent on marketing between the two titles. Running that through the GameSpot UK calculator for a second, we get a possible $150 million marketing spend for Modern Warfare 3. Riccatello, I think you just got pwned by Kotick. Finally, are those Microsoft points burning a hole in your uh, Xbox Live account? PlayStation Store credit weighing down your wallet? Well, blow your virtual pennies on our picks of the best downloadable content this week. First up, Xbox 360, which sees Misplosion Man... <laughs> Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team... And Boulder Dash XL all released this week for 800 points apiece. We heap praise on the sexually confusing Ms. Splosion Man. In our review, which went live today, awarding it an 8.5 for its imaginative level design, so it's well worth checking out. There's also a stack of great deals on GTA 4 and zombie related content this week. You can pick up the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare Pack, which bundles Undead Nightmare with the Liars and Cheats Pack, as well as Legends and Killers Pack, all for just 1,000 points. There's also Dead Rising 2 Case West, which is reduced to 400 points this week. And if you miss The Ballad of Gay Tony, it's 800 points, while The Lost and the Damned is a mere 400 points, both require GTA 4 to play. Things are slightly less exciting on the PlayStation Network side this week, but you can download a demo of Pixel Junk Shooter 2, which we awarded a 7.5, as well as a host of great new extra content. Dirt 3's Mud and Guts pack, L.A. Noir's Reefer Madness case, and Little Big Planet's 2 Final Fantasy costume pack all hit the virtual store today. But the highlight has got to be the free MotorStorm Apocalypse DLC, which includes the Rock Livery pack and the Dynamo Queen of Hearts events pack. Our own Mark Walton loved MotorStorm Apocalypse, awarding it an 8.5 in his review, and with retailers such as Zavi and Play selling the game for under £18, what better time to experience the natural disaster amok? Right, that's it from me. Remember to leave a hilarious comment about my name underneath. Like Doctor Who, I'll regenerate as someone with a trendier haircut tomorrow, so we'll see you then.